In our first episode of The Salmon of Souter Creek, our female coho was busy building her red to lay her eggs while these two males were fighting to determine who would mate with her. A week later, the water levels are up even more, spawning with the dominant male as a curve. He since left for greener pastures and she remains with the red, guarding it from other females who want to capitalize on all her hard work as seen in this clip. She's on the right and behind, warding off the other female. Meanwhile, these three coho are migrating farther upstream, perhaps not yet aware of what challenges await them on their journey. This brings us to the title of this exciting episode, Leaping and Propeller. To get to more spawning beds farther upstream, the salmon need to pass through this part of our place, which we call the gauntlet. Over a length of about 1,200 feet, the creek drops about 80 feet through a series of cascades, beginning with a six-foot-tall, two-step waterfall, which is featured in this zoom green shot from water water. In this sequence, notice how these salmon curiously appear to be sizing up their leaping channel by peering out of the water. As can be seen, the frequency of jumping is fast-paced, often with multiple salmon jumping simultaneously. In the almost 30 years of living here, we have never seen so many salmon at the same time, and the run is only about half of it for this season. This is a more bird's eye view of the leaping activity. Even the younger, male jack salmon attempt, hopefully without too much brain damage. Notice how this salmon appears to defy gravity in the forest of the water as it seemingly hangs in the water column. Many coho try, and eventually most triumph up the falls, as evidenced by this individual. This next salmon also makes it. It's worth watching a slow motion replay of this amazing display of leaping, propelling, and navigating the falls height, complex geology, and multi-directional currents. They are truly adept swimmers. For those salmon that successfully negotiate the gauntlet, this is what awaits them. Lots of engineered wood jams that have been here for about six years. Plenty of spawning gravels of various sizes. Lots of boulders and large wood. In this area, we have several side channels constructed, so these provide refuge for both adult and juvenile salmon when the waters become very high or there's a flood condition, so this is like a refuge spot. And uh, also, uh, this whole area is a very low stream gradient, meaning it's fairly flat and not very steep like it is farther down in the gauntlet area. This also provides for more opportunities for salmon uh, spawning and rearing. To me, salmon are simply amazing creatures. They spend their first 18 months or so in these fresh waters, migrate down the Columbia to the ocean, their physiology is altered and survive in a saltwater environment, then they travel up the eastern Pacific along the shores of British Columbia or Alaska, where they'll gain over 95% of their final weight. Then, when they're about three years old, these coho will reverse course, migrating back up the Columbia again, changing their osmotic physiology while not eating during this last freshwater migration and somehow return here to surmount these obstacles to spawn and then die. Nature at its best. 